with our ears are what's coming out. What the truth is, the things you load up into your spirit, load this one, load this one, load this one, load this one all at the same time. And I guess, I guarantee you get a funky, funky mixture. And anytime you go and talk to someone and say, hello, how are you today? That funky mixture of like, oh, God bless you, brother. And then when you're wondering why people are looking at you like, yes, how are you? How are you? That's the reason why. Okay. Whatever you load up on is what comes out of you. I want to know what's in your heart is the things that escape from your mouth. Okay. So that's why sometimes the people are on, oh, the only thing come out of their mouth are just foul language, foul words, foul things. You don't really like being around them. Why? They've been loading up on foul words, foul language. But you, of course, are different. I want you to load up on good things. Load up on the kind of thoughts that are not evil. The kind of thoughts that say, I am a child of God. The kind of thoughts that say, God is going to take me and make me a better person. Load up on the kind of thoughts that say, my heart is close to God. The kind of thoughts that says, when God is in my heart, I will think right. I will live right and I will do right. See, when God is absent, we think wrong. When God is absent, we do wrong. When God is absent, we live wrong. But my prayer for you is that that's not going to be you, okay? So I want to just pray for you tonight that you will indeed guard your hearts, okay? Every day you go to work, you see people. They say things, they do things. And you don't really realize how much effect the people that are around you have upon you, okay? Not everybody that has something to say really has something to say. Let me say it again. Not everybody that has something to say to you really has something to say. So sometimes you got to just block them out. Look at their thoughts. Look at their action. Um, what Solomon was saying in these verses, he was saying to the people, to his son, he was saying to him, okay, that you need to think pure thoughts. And I told you before that you can't really be thinking one line of thought. And at the same time, start thinking a different plan of thought completely. You have to stop. I did it before and I said it just now. I said, if you're going to be counting, count to 10 or 20 in twos, two, four, six. And as I'm saying that, as you give me a name of somebody, you have to stop and switch and do the other one. You can't do both. You can't have faith. You can't have fear. You can't have good. You can't have problems. You cannot have light and dark at the same time okay it's not possible that you have light and dark at the same time you have to choose and my prayer for you is that you will indeed choose the right things okay so tonight i'm going to pray for you that god will help your mind to focus and load up on the pure water of god load up on the pure things of god load up every time okay so what does that mean does that mean that you need to be every single day reading your bible every second of the day that'll be very very nice but it's not really possible what's possible though is this and when you, get, when you get up in the morning, take your word, read it, understand it. During the day, remind yourself, what did I read this morning? And it, it'll come back to you. Just put a thought into your head. Okay, that's why David said, your word have I hidden in my heart, that I may not sin against you. All right, guys, God bless you. That's my thought for you tonight. It's very, very simple. Whatever you load up on, okay? Put all these things together, things together load up on them at the same time they will start coming out of you, okay? But whatever it is that you load upon is what comes out of you. I'm praying for you that you will load upon the right things in Jesus' name. Father, I pray for your children tonight, and I ask that this week as we go into our week, you will help us to load up on your word, to load up on the right things, that Lord God, your spirit, your strength, your might will be with us, that as we put into ourselves the right things, what will come out of us will be the right things. I thank you, Father, for your grace, for your wisdom, and for your strength to bless your children this week in the name of Jesus. Father, may your spirit cause their minds to be renewed, their minds to be changed, their minds to have the right thoughts. I speak against every spirit of fear that's going to try to come against them and put them down. Lord God, may fear be far from them, and may your faith rise up in them. If any sickness might come across their way, Lord God, to try to make them be afraid, I speak against it right now. I curse that fear at its root. At its root. And I thank you because your word says you have not given a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. I ask that you help us to load up on the right things, the pure water of your word <clears throat> that will build our faith and destroy every fear. 
I thank you because the wrong thoughts, negativity and evil is getting out of your people today. Now this week, they will think positive thoughts. They will think the right things in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you guys. Thank you very much for, for, for listening. Remember, Amen. what you load up on will govern your thoughts. What you load up on will govern your speech. What you load up on will govern your actions. And those actions will become your character, and that character will become your life. May God help you have a good character and good life in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you.